I mean, it's a very fair point in terms of everything. We will work on that. It's like a 1980s fucking African tune, boy. It's a lot older than we are, bro. 80s? Yeah, that's true. That's true. I don't want to date ourselves too much, but no, no, no. Like I'm talking early 80s. Your late 80s. There's a difference. <laughs> right. I keep on forgetting because I'm like, yeah, we're we're the same age, of course. Yeah. Anyways, um, day nine, World Cup is complete. Um, yeah, yeah. Africa has mm. come and done things. Africa, Africa decided day two. Maybe we should play properly. Maybe we should get like results. okay. So I'll, I'll wait for you to host. So you tell me which one we start with. Do we start I mean, with we the start, start with Cameroon? We start Serbia? from the beginning. Yeah, Cameroon Serbia. I did like the, I. Okay, yeah. so do do we do we, okay? There's two parts of Cameroon Serbia. There's a mm-hmm. first part where I think keeping Abu. Uh, Abu, Abu Bakr on uh, or Abu yeah. Kabar. So, is it Abu Kabar or Abu Bakr? I thought it's Abu Bakr. I thought it was. I thought it was Abu Bakr, but Abu Bakr. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Abu Bakr keeping him on the bench, I have no issues with. I mm-hmm. think that's okay. But then um, his introduction as well was yes, pretty clear. Um, mm. Chupa Moting is legitimately, in my opinion, one of the best strikers in this World Cup. Like he has mm-hmm. cemented himself. Mm-hmm. I think it's him. I'm trying to think of any other good strikers in this World Cup. Like, mm-hmm. who, who, no, um, oh, oh, uh, Valencia, Anna Valencia. It's yeah. him, Anna Valencia, and um, oh, obviously Mbappe. Those are the the yeah. like Moting hasn't scored. Yes, like he hasn't like prolifically scored, but his mm-hmm. movement is nutty it's so yes. crazy it's he consistently just creates chaos because he doesn't stop running no he is a he's literally un. he must be uh honestly even looking at it from someone who's played football obviously not on a high level but yeah. we all hated playing against someone who never stops running because you're like yeah. bro let me take a breath like, let me, just give me a second, man. So, but again, yeah. I, 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 I think I, I, dude, I called it. I said, Serbia is going to be a good matchup for Cameroon. I thought mm-hmm. the height thing is going to be an issue, but I thought Cameroon actually does have height, but mm-hmm. Serbia is kind of slow. And, they'll, yeah. and Serbia will think we can actually attack Cameroon, which is to Cameroon's strength. And eventually the game ended 3-3. I think it was a fair game. I don't think it Cameroon was. should have won. I don't think Serbia should have won. I think this was just a Serbia played better in the first half, but like yes. I still think the second half was after Abu Bakr came in. It was uh well th- that's the thing is Abu Bakr just scored two goals in three minutes. Like it's it's yeah. not, it's not like it's madness. <laughs> yeah, that, that was just a bang bang bang. We just completely yeah. changed the game. So um. Maybe, yes, you might feel a bit slight for Serbia. I think Serbia did play marginally yeah. better, I would argue. But hey, one point is one point. And, and everyone's again, still alive. And the, the fact that Brazil beat Switzerland means Cameroon needs to beat Brazil to go through, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm not saying it's not going to happen. Um, I, well, everything I said things, has not happened. So yeah, crazy things have happened. Let's think about it. Neymar's not playing. Because he's injured. No. Yes. Um. I I I read a freaking article that said, "Oh, Neymar, uh, Brazil look weaker with Neymar out." And I'm like, "Did you watch the Switzerland game? They should have scored like four goals in that game. Mm-hmm. They're just not clinical." And maybe okay, maybe the argument is Neymar gives them higher xG, like maybe maybe uh, yeah maybe just a higher xG, but. Or maybe the, the chances that he gives them are a lot easier for them to to finish. But at the same time, like, no, no. This Brazil team, you just need to pray. Because oh. that front three, front four is dumb. And that's it. Yeah. There's no conversation. 
if Casemiro can score like that, bro, like Cameroon, if you get if you lose one nil, I'm proud of you. If you draw that game, I'm proud of you. Yeah, You're, we didn't think you were gonna get out of that group, but you've come out of that group. Ha- your your heads could be held high. I'll give you that. It is, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Now the bigger story, I don't know mm-hmm. for me because I saw this before the game started. The mm-hmm. whole situation with Andre Onana leaving. Canada. Oh yeah, yeah, because he yeah Onana was apparently there was a bust up in the yeah. his He's home. Training. He was sent home. I thought yeah. it was just like a this game thing. But no, then no, after the home. game, the story came out was he was sent home. Yeah. And would he have? Th- he's a, he's obviously a, a top keeper, so yeah. obviously he would have improved the the their the goalkeeping. Yeah, yeah, their chances yeah. a lot more. But you know what? I respect what the coach did. Like if whatever happened in in behind closed doors, mm-hmm. if he disrespected, apparently it was an issue with the the style that they were playing. Bro, yeah. yeah, go home. And guess what? You know what? This is a funny thing. The fact that Cameroon drew this game mm-hmm. makes this makes that goalkeeper, whatever he's whatever he said, makes Onana look so stupid. Why do you say that? Because they they drew. And the argument now would be, hey, if Onana played, then they might have won. That would have been the argument. But doesn't that go both ways, though? In theory, like because How so? if you no, was if, here, you could have won. I, I think I think when you're in a competition, particularly mm-hmm. a World Cup, you everyone needs to be on the same page. It doesn't matter that, whether you. Yeah. It doesn't matter whether you hate what the coach is doing. That's why mm-hmm. when I look at England and Southgate, I always go because that's what a lot of England fans are saying. Suck Southgate after the USA draw, but I'm like, you mm-hmm. can't suck him now. He's in the World Cup. So you just have to suck suck yeah. it up until you're done. We argued that the same conversation with Belgium. You know, when Belgium played, we all said the exact same thing. Like, Belgium are trash. You know? Let's be honest, Kevin De Bruyne should have chosen Burundi. I don't know why he went for Belgium. Like, he should have been a Burundian. <laughs> you know, he, you know, Probably. He, no, you know, that's a thing. He could have chosen. Yeah, yeah. Kevin De Bruyne is Burundian, technically. He's part Burundi, part definitely, Belgian. Yes. So he could he could yeah. definitely have laced up for the Burundian team. You know what I'm saying? But either way, that I think I, I back the coach here. The coach Okay. If if but because think about it. It's not like the coach insulted Onana and then Onana went oh. off. Onana came to him and said, I don't like the way we're playing ball. And oh. I think the coach should have been fine. I now this is the part we were guessing. But if Onana came to him privately and said, "Hey, coach, why don't we attack more? Like, I think we, I think we've got the team to attack teams. Like, let's not sit back." If if Onana gets booted off because he said that privately, I have an issue. But if Onana publicly in front of all his teammates tells a guy, "You know, you're useless. We should be. You're incompetent. You should. We should play. We should be playing a certain system." No, get the heck out. Go back to uh, whatever team he plays for. <laughs> uh, one of the Milan's. Yeah, well, go go back. Mm. I don't give a shit. Like uh, in my opinion, I think the coach did the right thing. So I, I I will never I will never ever 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 no back a coach in competition. After a competition is done, assess. Okay. So obviously this coach is gonna get fired after the. World Cup, because some people are going to say, well, you should have kept Onana. Some people would say he made the right mm-hmm. decision. Whether whether you like it or not, he made, a, he made a call. He made the right call, in my opinion. Do not let bad eggs sit in camp. That's Remember France, yeah. South, Af- South Africa. All, all, yeah. the, all the big players were arguing. The coach should have kicked all of them. Hey, you don't like that? You don't want to be in the team? Go back home. Oh. There you go. So hey, That's Cameroon, in, in, regardless, yeah. Cameroon did well. I think we should focus more on the game because it clearly showed yeah. that the team was a lot more unified. So hey, I'm not, I'm not Maybe. mad. Yeah, it is. It, it's just interesting for me when you contrast that with. But this again, they're two different contexts because one happened 
in the World Cup. One happened okay. before when Morocco chooses getting players into the team, which means you remove a manager versus okay. a manager. And and I think with the discourse with Cameroon, it gets interesting because you also have the, the Joel Matip situation is one in itself, which I mean, that's a deep dive and a fun one anyways. But like, it's, it's another player now where it's just, okay, we're having this conversation again and it's Cameroon. It's another player who you probably could have used but for whatever reason, you but didn't Joe Matter retire or something like early retirement or some crap? Yeah, but it, the, the reports are that Onana is going to retire too. Well, fine. And if he does, he does. Like, yeah, yeah who like, cares? The, you know, one of the things I, I've always said the reason why Nigeria and honestly Ghana, which in my opinion, and as of, well, not in just my opinion, if you look at the history, uh, in sub-Saharan Africa, the two giants, right? Yeah. So, if Ghan- the reason why Ghana and Nigeria struggle so much in these competitions is this idea of retaining certain players. If a player doesn't oh. want to play for your country, don't bring them. That is a parasite yeah. joining your team. Get rid of them. As much as I dislike Andre Ayu, with the Ghanaian colors. Um, I couldn't care about his club football. Um, Andre Yu, you cannot say he doesn't care for his team. You can tell this means a lot to him. I thought I thought um, a big issue that I thought Andre Yu was going to have for Ghana is he's very selfish when he's in the Ghana shirt. It's oh. truly shown that he actually is a little bit unselfish this World Cup, just a tidge, just a tiny little bit unselfish. But this play, but again, uh, we'll go. I think we should go to the Ghana game because the Ghana <laughs> game is more interesting to me. Because uh, for some of us, for some of you guys who might be listening, um, you know, the three of you, uh, uh, hey, a, 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 a quasi said, me, okay, no, no, said that, no, um, so... a quasi said. I don't understand why Jordan Ayu is playing in this game, yada, yada, yada. Listen. Jordan Ayu immediately assists Listen. two freaking goals. And I'm like, Listen. holy smokes. Listen. Okay. But, but you know what? I think you're right. This is more of like, you know, a broken clock is right twice right. a day. Right, yeah. Yeah, and so I, I agree. Jordan Ayu is a... I think he's a decent player, but a this, decent player yeah. like... Like I, I, okay, let me. I don't know. I'm lying. I think Jordan Ayu is terrible, but <laughs> you guys don't have anyone else with that level of experience because he has played in Europe. He has played in good yeah. teams. There are many good teams that he start. Yes. He started for. So he must be this. There's something he shows in training that he doesn't yeah. show in uh, live matches. So if he can continue playing like this. Then you guys have a decent team. Tyreek Lamty again showing me why I thought that was the best choice, the right, best yeah. choice ever for him. Like legitimately showing that. Mm. Do you know what's funny? Tyreek Lamty, if he was playing for England right now, England would be good on the right side. Isn't that crazy to think? What a world. It's what we, a world. We discussed this. We said. Think about this. Trent Alexander-Arnold has either has to be injured or isn't playing well. Like, and that that to us back then, this was like what two mm-hmm. years ago or a year ago yeah. or something. And we were like, "There's no chance, right?" Yeah. So, and then second is um, Reese James needs needs to be also injured or isn't playing well. And then number yeah. three would be Kyle uh, Kyle Kyle Walker would also Kyle need Walker to be Peter, injured yeah. or isn't playing. And then Cal Walker Peters doesn't. He? So in my in my opinion, I was like, Terry Clamp is yeah. like top four. He's the best player outside of the the big boys, right? Yeah. Only to find out Trent Alexander Arnold isn't playing well this year. Um, T- Reese James is you know consistently injured, injured. and yeah. then that would have meant, and Cal Walker has to play centre back. Mm-hmm. So that means. Tarek Lamptey actually would have had a, an actual shot 
to play, to play for England. And he offers everything England needs. Dude, that shot he made where he legitimately, yes. he, he, what was it's, it like? Almost like dribbling past two players. And, and then, then as he's, he's falling he's, down, he, he puts literally, it on. Yes. Oh, if oh, that went in, oh, I would have been done. Okay, that, that, but that was a sick. Op- but we we have to rewind here a bit. Okay, so we have to rewind here. Oh yeah, 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 I need no, to defend okay. my honor here. Talk um, to yes, a broken record. When I saw, <laughs> I woke up and I saw the Ghana listing, and I saw two AUs, and literally, if you go to the Twitter, I tweet why. That was it. I it it put me in a foul mood because to me, you have wingers. You're telling me that you don't have any other wingers. And my issue with how this team was set up was that you have players who are all going to look for their own. Who was going to be the distributor? Who was going to be that? And I didn't, and, and I said this, you can find it on the stream. I said, I don't trust Jordan's distribution. I said it. Yeah. And they literally, and I was wrong. Tw- and 20 minutes in. Actually, not even 20 minutes in. He put in a ball, like, I think 10 or 15 minutes in. That was nasty. Yes. He put in a really good ball at some point. I was like, oh, wait, whoa, mm-hmm. whoa. And I'm like, okay. But, you know, those things happen from time to time. Yes. A bad player will put in a good cross, and you're like, mm-hmm. oh, well, okay. So you actually do have that in your locker. Yeah. Bro. But, yeah, he put in the, the first cross, which eventually gets put away by Mohamed Salisu, who, again, Ghana had to spend Beast. so much time to get him. And it's worth the, it was worth the effort. Wait, so Salisu also, could have been – what team, what other nation could he have? None. Oh, okay. He just wasn't so, playing for Ghana for, for, oh, for he just, he reasons. Personally, he personally chose not to play for Ghana? There, there's, a sto- there's a story – um, where either at youth level or early on in his career, he needed help. And, and this is the rumor that he needed help from the Federation and the Federation gave him nothing. So, uh, so after, he didn't want to give, he didn't want to pay back. He yeah. didn't want to just give it. Oh, okay. You know what? If that's the truth, mm-hmm. I respect that. Cause yeah. Hey, uh, people who go, yeah, country over whatever. I'm like, no, mm-hmm. if the country, particularly for African countries, we know this. Yes. Look, look at uh, uh, you know for it's many Mbolo. people. Yeah, like look at look at Yanis Antetokounmpo, where mm-hmm. his dad played for the Nigerian national team yeah. and was flat broke. Like African countries don't really look after the the players. Mm-hmm. So in my opinion, if Salisu is like, why would I go and stress out for Ghana when they don't really do anything? And mm-hmm. which is crazy is that Salisu is quite possibly one of the youngest, one of the top young defenders like one of the best young defenders out there yeah and it's th- that's why i thought i thought he had a different country he could play no. for, and he was he's... just like you know maybe like france or 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 england or something and he's like oh, i can't make it there he would have been in england long enough but no he his options were ghana and if he's in england long enough maybe them but like yeah I, and he... you know what you know yeah. what he walks into england i think i think he benches um I genuinely think he benches uh, Harry Maguire. I mean, we've all thought that. But dude, he's Harry a big Maguire dude. Was... He's tall. He is, he is, yeah. He, you know, he's got the speed. He's got the strength. He's, he's a whole package, man. He's a big... Obviously, he's young, so he's got that yeah. momentary, you know, lapse of judgment. But, hey. Mm-hmm. No, but, but yeah, so, like... Go on. Salisu scores off of Jordan. And, again, getting him was important because the one thing... Ota Otto loves to do is when he needs to see out a game, he likes to go to a back three. And now that you add Sally Sue to Jiku and Amarte, I mean, Amarte and Jiku were the pairing, period. And then you add that, mm-hmm. man, you're good. You can go back three if you need to. You can go back two if you have to. Dennis Adoy, at the end, I was a little bit concerned because he doesn't have the foot speed anymore. And okay, like, but but let's let's but still, okay. I, I know you're hyping up Ghana too much. Well, I'm guys, not having one hyped. Sec- one, I haven't one hyped. Second, one second. I haven't even hyped. You guys them. lost two goals to South Korea that were headers. Mm-hmm. This two, is our third okay, team. the one header, the second goal from South Korea was yeah. nuts. 
Yes. That kid climbed. That he kid did. was climbing. Mm -hmm. He jumped He's so high, climbing. I was like, yo. If Ronaldo did the same thing, people would be creaming in their pants. This guy mm. leaped. He jumped so high, Salisu thought he was a defensive. Look at Salisu's face. Go back. Yeah. He thought he was a defensive guy leaping. <laughs> so he, he didn't even like try. He just mm -hmm. sat there. And then all he saw was a red shirt yeah. smashing. And the power, too. It's not just yeah. that he, he jumped that high. That power was nuts. The keeper, it was just like, what do you want him to do? Like, the only thing you could say he did wrong was he took a step back right, yeah. right before he jumped. No, no, and I, the, I, that think, momentum I don't think, in, I don't think like, a world-class keeper keeps that out. I think that was... Maybe. Uh, no, no, no chance. No, I'm not kidding. That was... Yeah, a, a, that's a fine. Yeah. No chance. The keeper could mm. not... The second goal. The, the yeah. second goal, for sure, no keeper gets that. Maybe if the keeper was positioned better, but the keeper had to shift to the left, and the guy yeah. hits the head, heads the ball to his left, the keeper's right. Yes. Keeper couldn't do anything. And the pace... Mm -hmm. Dude, before the keeper reacts, the ball is in the net. Yeah. The pace he put in on that ball. He's just, you know, he's just that making... That was a beautiful header. It was. I, I, I'm not going to... I'll be honest with you. The two goals you guys conceded were not goalkeeping issues. It was defensive errors. That's I agree. the key. I agree. Because Salisu should not, at the very least, Salisu should contest that. Because mm -hmm. if you contest that header, you, you, you make sure that guy doesn't have enough. That guy had a full head of steam. No yes. one blocked him. No one tried to, like, you know, there the, no the, 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 the yeah. professional tag. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Guy and pulled up there, yeah. like he's about to do a layup, like easy mm. layup, bro. Like it, no, it, it was it was one of the worst. It, it, in my opinion, that's the reason why I, a, a lot of things I hate about the African teams this World Cup is that we've never we seemingly don't learn to get mm. rid of all these tiny little mistakes, because mm. guess what? If a top team plays Ghana. You guys played Portugal. There, there when Portugal you guys you guys lost to Portugal, right? With Ronaldo there. Yeah. If Ronaldo isn't playing, <laughs> okay, that's a six I goal. I think it's worse. That's a six goal. Worse. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. That's a six goal game. You guys are going to struggle. You guys would have struggled. Because Portugal versus oh. Uruguay? Yo. Do, Fern uh, Bruno Fernandez is trying to get the the Ballon d'Or. <laughs> my boy, my boy, yeah. my boy is going for Ballon d'Or. He's not playing around, boy. <laughs> yeah, he's he's telling people, no hey, you remember? Yeah, remember when people? You remember when Manu fans were saying, "I'm better than De Bruyne." Yeah, he's coming back mm -hmm. and saying, "Where's De Bruyne now?" Huh? <laughs> 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 Where is De Bruyne now? I'm I'm one no, of two true. teams that's already guaranteed. Second round, baby. Yeah. What are you guys saying? No, that's true. That's true. But yeah. To just so do you think you guys are going Ghana through? Game, it's Uruguay is going to be an emotional matchup. But the worry with me is... You guys are going to get fed. I'm just telling you right now. The, you the guys worry are going to get beamed. The transition, man. The transition I'm, worries me. The transition worries you. How so? Because... You're you have Nunez, you have Suarez coming at you. Have, you. No, oh, sorry, sorry, bro. Their midfield is Valverde, yeah. Bentacore, you and and Palestri. I don't know what Manu is doing. That kid needs to play. Mm. That kid is nasty. Mm -hmm. His ball control, like in in small spaces, is insane. He has yeah. such good like the the. Uh, in that game with Portugal, those the the two times, the two best chances, Pelistri was involved in them. Well, yeah. in, outside of that Bentaco one where he just where he just decided to do it on his own. Yeah. What? He ran like it looked like like sixty yards yeah, with the ball. It was, it was. And then that nice one, like that nice. Uh, I, I we used to call them one twos. You know, Kenyans yeah. would know what I mean. But that one two step where you just bang bang. It's the simplest thing that you all learn when you're trying to dribble, and he's clear on goal, 
you could see in his face, man. He was so mad. Yeah. He was so upset. Went through the whole team and tried to go five hole and got saved. No, I'm not man, kidding. I... The, the, the problem with Uruguay is that because they're South American, they're very good defensively. Like mm-hmm. South American teams just, you, you know, you're, you're getting battered by Chile, Argentina, and Brazil. Like you just have to be good defensively. Mm-hmm. Unless it's like a, it's a you know it's a tennis yeah. match, like <laughs> like you you're getting battered mm-hmm. six. And, and I think that's the question. Yeah. If, no, you if guys are getting battered Ghana by Uruguay, bro. Themselves. Do they want to play over. a tennis match? No, no, you guys are getting you guys are getting battered. Like Bentancourt, Valverde, probably Davo Nunes, Cavani, uh, uh, what's his name, Gomez, I think. Like. You guys are getting. You guys yeah, need. Yeah, Gomez, Oliveira. Yeah, you guys need help. All right. Because yeah. they're so dynamic, and you know what? Nunes is such a bad. Like mm-hmm. for Saliso, Nunes is such a bad matchup because he's quick, he's tall, mm. and he will take him. He will draw him away, and that means Cavani then has to play one of your oh. weaker defenders, and that's a problem. And you know Cavani is like, because Cavani is like my height, right? He's, he's I think he's six foot, yeah. And he looks, he he doesn't look like he he doesn't look like crazy. You know he's not crazy tall. Mm. He's not crazy quick. So people just ignore him. Mm-hmm. And then he just he shows up every time in the right places, with enough yeah. time to shoot. And your hope is, I really hope he misses. <laughs> That's mm. your only opportunity, because. Against against Portugal, he should have scored. That easy yeah. cross he was given, he should have scored that. Yep. And normally Cavani does. So mm-hmm. if you give no, them right more, now, yeah. more chances, you guys are gonna get it's gonna be like a like a bloodbath, in my opinion. The 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 low key story that for Ghana's team has been the midfield outside of Caduce. Salis has given you a little bit defensive, but Thomas Partey has been non-existent. Non-existent. I was going to say that. Thomas yeah. Thomas Partey, to me, has actually shocked me. Mm. Because I thought he was going to show up. I thought this was... the, And maybe, you know what? Maybe Thomas Partey works best in a very clear system in where mm. he knows exactly what he's supposed to what do, exactly yeah. what his midfielders are supposed to do. Because okay. to me, Kudus is not even like playing. I think he's playing supporting striker. I don't think I, he's playing I, attacking mid. Yeah. So you guys are technically playing two midfielders, and then so you're playing like a four-two-three-one kind of system, which is what you're doing. But realistically, half of like half four of this like, and I was saying this about this lineup here, right? Inyaki is going to look for his, though he's probably the more passing of the forwards. Andre will look for his. And then you have Kudus who will look for his, which isn't a bad thing, but that's yeah. three, half of your attacking players aren't looking to pass, right? right? Mm-hmm. And, and that becomes a problem. So that's where it's like, okay, Jordan has to be on point. And for me to say that, I was like, I can't rely on that. And today he was, and today I give him his props for that. But against well, a against, team like, against yeah. Uruguay, I think you guys will show up because let's be honest, Ghana yeah. has a... Uh, vendetta. vendetta, yeah. Mm. So, but the problem will be you can have a vendetta with the team, but if you don't match them one mm. for one, I think that's a good game for Thomas Party to finally show up because Party is going to be like, if there is a game you need Party to show up, it's that game because yeah. his hands are going to be tied. Looking at Bentecourt, looking at Valverde, mm. look, and those guys don't stop running. So yeah. your your he's going to be his tank is going to be pretty bad, mm-hmm. but you know what? Kudus played well. Like yeah. ignore the goals, he played well the whole game. No, he did. He did. Um, T- Tarek Lamptey for me showcases why he's you know top four in the Premier League, best yes, right yes. backs. Um, Salisu played well offensively. He was mm-hmm. a proper threat in, on dead balls. Yes. And he is still a threat. Like he's also a good defensive player yeah. for your dead balls. But I'm actually shocked that South Korea, a team that's not known for its height, yeah, was able to score two good two. goals. Yeah. And Uruguay is looking at itself going, We've got Nunes, we've got Cavani, guys who are elite 
in the and end? that's the worry. That's the oh, worry, right? Man. The that's goals that South Korea run. scored are yeah. the goals that Uruguay is like, yeah, we do. Is is definitely good. No, it's definitely going to score. And the yeah. problem is, you're going to struggle to score against Uruguay because, it, okay. you, mm, will you? Outside of mm. like Jimenez, like mm. how good is the? I'm actually going to pull this up. How good yeah. is the? Their defense now. Because I saw Godin was playing. I was like, what? Yeah. Are you still playing? He certainly is. So if I look at the Uruguay national team here. Um, so you have Godin, Jimenez, and... Oh, Cortez. Really? Yeah. That tall, lanky dude? Okay. So the good thing is, outside of Jimenez, none of them are super quick. Varela is... I think a reliable right back, mm-hmm. but Oliveira, I think, and Oliveira has a yellow. Yes. So that means he probably will be a little bit more defensive minded uh, yes. the next game. But they've got they've got proper like p- players on the bench. Like Pelistri played well for me. I'm actually shocked. I don't know what Facundo Torres did that is not being played. I don't mm-hmm. know what's going on. Um, Maybe he's not as good as people have been saying for Orlando City. Maybe the MLS <laughs> is actually <laughs> playing on its level. But in my opinion, their biggest strengths are Cavani, Nunes, Bentancur, Valverde. That's a mm-hmm. solid four who can, yeah. who all play at. I think about it. Like they've all played. I'm, I'm guessing, obviously, with each other uh, from time to time. Maybe yeah. for sure, Valverde and Nunes have played together. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know if Benton Co and Cavani have played, but um, this is a good. I actually think this is a really good matchup for you guys, because mm. it's a question of does party show up? Does that's the key thing. How yeah. exactly do I, I think you guys should play a solid four three three, where mm. Kudus is told, hey, yes, you we're going to give you the. You, we're going to let you, the impetus yeah. for you to go into the box, but you need to be like, if I see Valverde on your wing or on mm-hmm. your side, I need you to push back and make sure he's struggling. Because the thing is, Valverde is quick yes. for a central midfielder. He's a winger pace at mm-hmm. central mid. And he's got pace, passing ability, scoring. Like, he's a problem. So mm-hmm. you really need to shut that down. You need to make sure. Mm-hmm. Dude, Valverde was running rings around Neves and um and what's his name? Cavalio, I think Cavalio played. Like, bro, mm-hmm. I, I I think it's a either way, I, I think that the final game is gonna be an interesting one. It definitely will. Before we get to those final matchups, uh we talked a little bit, really quick, actually. The Uruguay-Portugal matchup. I know Brazil got the result versus uh, Switzerland. Casemiro, apparently, Brazil only scores bangers. Who knew? Um, but the penalty against Uruguay, do you call that a penalty or no? As for the letter of the law, yes. I don't, yeah. I, I don't think it is a penalty, but we saw it being given letter, uh, in the World yeah. Cup. We, uh, sorry, mm-hmm. uh, in the Premier League. I've seen it being given in the Champions League this okay. season. So as of the current rules, yes, that it's a penalty. Lot, yeah. No, it's a clear penalty because yeah. he was he was going down. So that's an unnatural, like technically an unnatural hand position. Hand position. Yeah. Even though the question is, how is he supposed to land if he's falling backwards? Which like is the question. Has, that's there. He has to yeah. support himself. But that's a penalty. Yeah. Previously, that would have been ruled. Do this. Go back, and if you're watching either the highlights or you're watching the game, go and look at the ref. The ref oh. knew he's giving it, and you can tell the ref is like, oh, man, they're going to hate me for this. <laughs> you can yeah. go go check his face. He, in his mind is like, yeah, you know, his face is so like, bad. I have to do it. I have to but... give it to you, but it's I'm... not a pen. Yeah. This is normally yeah. not a pen, so it's a pen. No, definitely so. With that being a pen, I mean, other than that, just the offsides rules have been the only real questions in terms of like 
what is screening and players offsides. But get to that in a later date. Casemiro, well done. We're into the final stretch here. Final mm-hmm. game days. We have players. We have teams where they are. Let me actually throw it up here. So on, when, on Wednesday, I am off. So oh, I will be watching every single game on Wednesday. Um, but let's get to group. So tomorrow we have Group A and Group B finishing. Oh, the only thing we know for sure is good. Tomorrow's a is good Qatar day. Is eliminated. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so no, Ecuador, we Segano, Senegal. Sorry. Senegal. Yes. Yeah. Senegal. Come on. Segano. Put some respect to Senegal. Yeah? And then Iran. So cool. think about this. Ecuador, Senegal, Iran, USA. Yes. Did you see yeah. Tyler Adams being questioned? <laughs> and, and you know the thing is, it's someone's, some, you know the whole story with that, right? Do you know the whole story? No, no, I don't, I don't know. I think, I, I, I don't know, but explain it. I don't want to so, guess. So apparently one of the admins for the USS uh, Soccer Federation mm. altered the Iranian flag. On Altered their it. game day, yes, they took away the uh, the crest in the middle. The, the oh, because the crest is the Islamic yeah. State of Iran or Islamic yes. Republic of Iran. Yeah. Yes. Now, apparently, the reasoning that was given that I've seen was that it was a uh, it was done to support uh, to the support the all the protests. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that in turn turned first. It started off with people calling for. Um, the Iranians, the uh, I- Iranians, sorry, I don't want to be told to say it correctly. Iran, Iranians yeah. to be, uh, to have the Americans moved out of the World Cup because of this disrespect. Um, mm-hmm. And then it just turned into, if we're going to be political, fine. Let's, let's be, political. be political. Facts. And, I love that question. You mm-hmm. know, it's it's the definition of, I love that question because it's the hypocrisy that Qatar has faced. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is actually a thing. Before we discuss everything, this is a really good thing. Yeah. I am not kidding. This is one of the best World Cups in terms of games than the previous one. Oh, it's, we've it's had lovely um, chaotic. Yeah. We've had a lot of chaotic games, which makes it interesting. If you look at this, Netherlands-Ecuador, oh. we would have said it is Netherlands-Ecuador. But if you yeah. watch the games, in my opinion, Ecuador looked the best team They've looked a better team the whole group. Yeah, yes. it looks the best team. Let's be honest. Yeah. Ecuador should be first. Then you have England, Iran. What? I thought it was going to be England, US. You did call out England, Iran. Yeah. I respect that. When you look at Group C, it doesn't even make sense. Poland is leading. Argentina mm-hmm. is second. No one would have uh, expected that. And by the way, Saudi Arabia legitimately has an outside shot. Has a chance. Of actually getting out of no, that. No, not group. even an outside shot. Saying they that all they have to do is beat Mexico, and then knowing no. that if they beat Mexico, they're through. Yeah, but the goal difference. They have to beat Mexico because if Argentina beat Poland, they're, they're minus if they one. beat Mexico, if they beat Mexico, they are through. Who? Saudi Arabia. Yeah, but Argentina also needs to beat Poland, and Saudi Arabia would have to score more goals against Mexico which we both know is crazy. That we need to beat Mexico by what, like two goals? Because Argentina, I think, will beat Poland 1-0 or 2-1. Poland's yeah, a good team. But it, I, don't, I don't think Saudi Arabia would care. They would be moving on. Because um, at that point, that's what it would be. It'd be six, oh, because they they'd have, oh, they'd have yeah. high points. They'd have six points. Exactly. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, okay. Yeah. Then Group D, France, Australia. Yeah. What? <laughs> Right? Who? Who what matter? Then Spain, Japan, and Germany as the last team. And Japan then, losing to Costa Rica. Then go, open the door. Let's keep on going. Keep on yeah. check again. Group F, Croatia, Morocco. Another one that were like, what? Mm-hmm. Then you go Group H, Portugal, Ghana. I think Group H was the one that we said that's open. Yes. Group I think H that one we said it could have been any of them. I wouldn't be shocked mm-hmm. if Portugal gets knocked out. I wouldn't be shocked if no Portugal through. is going. Portugal is going through. The only question is who. No, I'm saying the before before the World okay. Cup. I, yeah, I fair, think fair, fair. I wouldn't yeah. have been. I wouldn't have been shocked if Ghana, because we talked about Ghana and we said, if yes. they don't add Tarek Lamptey, Salisu, 
mm-hmm. um, Kudus, all these guys, we said they're getting knocked out. So yeah. the, the 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 worst team in the team, oh, mm-hmm. sorry, in the in the in the group. Yes. With their addition, we said they're probably second or third, yeah. but we don't know because we don't know what version of Uruguay is going to show up, yes. which is interesting because that is literally the last game in which we don't know how it's going to go down. So yes. perfect game. They could finish third. They could finish yeah. second. Interesting. But the and only even, group yeah. the only group that we, we knew was going to be similar was is Group G, Brazil and Switzerland. I, I said Switzerland. You said Serbia. I had Serbia, yeah. Yeah. But, but I even thought, still... Mm. The, the last matchups are all spicy. Are all good, open. Yeah, Serbia could go yeah. through with four points. Serbia, Switzerland is going to be heated because of yeah. people. <laughs> right? Which people? Well, what oh. does Switzerland have? What do the Nazis do this time? <laughs> My guy. <laughs> no, like... What, they, are we, we, we going to pretend 20, like that's not a thing? When or? they played, uh, when do, they played do, in 2018, do we when them? they played in Russia, like, they were in the same group. And, yeah, there was... Shikiri and yo, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can we can we talk about how I swear Switzerland paid off the ref for what game? What, <laughs> for game? The, the, the... <laughs> what no, game? Eh? Switzerland versus um, who they play? Uh, they uh, they played Brazil, no? Yeah, they just played Brazil. Yeah, the, the did you not see the lights go down in on the <laughs> corner kick? I swear, I Switzerland, Switzerland paid the lighting guy. He's like, yo, turn uh, off the lights, bro. <laughs> I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Yeah. Okay. No. So, back to what we were saying. I like the fact that there's been a lot of. Um, the, the reason why I say this, uh, yeah. if, even if you look at the groups, this World Cup has been really good in terms of the matches. Yes. The politics that we've been seeing behind closed doors now oh sorry uh, but particularly from western western countries has yeah. been borderline racist and i think we as africans should be very clear about this there's part of it which is true qatar should have gotten it for clear yeah. reasons for instance yeah. it's a small country it doesn't have a football philosophy i those for are the reasons why they should yeah. yeah, I don't care about... No, they, they have the money to build infrastructure. I don't care about that. If you're willing to throw away $200 billion, that's on you. You can do that. But if you, if you don't have people who like the sport... Dude, have you seen those matches? There are people nowhere. Like, yeah. there are literally multiple seats. If yeah, that, multiple if, sections. Yeah, like, exactly, sections. An entire section of a stadium has no one sitting. There's never been a World Cup I've ever seen like that. Even USA's 90... Because when, when, when the World Cup went to the States, some, yeah, they, they actually yeah. panicked because they were like, Americans don't watch soccer, as they say. Mm-hmm. And, but Americans showed up because Americans love a good time. Yeah. I, I, I think that part is, is a good argument. My, my bigger argument, though, is on the discussion of the culture and so on. That's where I draw the line because their culture is very specific. You know who they are. And to ignore a massive part of the world to me is ridiculous. And yeah. two, I like the fact that the Iranians went that way. They were like, oh, you guys are ignoring. You guys like about, you guys only talk about our protests. How about the BLM protests that happened not too long ago? How about the yeah. massive issues with, you know, insecurity that's going on in your country. Bring it up. Mm-hmm. Let's bring it up. You know, I like that. I like where mm-hmm. Iran went. I think that's a really good argument. I think that spices up that game. I think If I'm, it wasn't already I am, spicy. I am not joking. I wish Iran beats the heck out of the US. I hope it's a 2-0 like guys are slugging each other out. I, I, <laughs> I want that. I, I think dude, I, it was going to be a tough game regardless, and this yes. hasn't helped it. It has not Which helped is what it. I, love. I want Iran to smother the US. I want them to tell them, you guys could beat us in a war, but we will always have better food than you. 
<laughs> I think we're the football why players. Are you doing this? Let's go. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> and then the name of it, edit you know, this out. But no, inshallah, no. Iran beats the US. I'm in there for it. Mm. My Iranians, my Persian people, I'm there for you. You know, let's go. For the yeah, US, so, yeah, that, for that, me, that, Tyler Adams, mm. you did well in that interview. I respect you for what you said. You did. You, yeah, he because mm. you could see him smile, kind of like it's a good question. Because you He's know, like, if I you know wanted to coming. say the truth, yeah. you would say, yes, we do get discriminated against. But you know what? That's not what we're here for. So I respect that. That was yeah. a good, that was that was a spicy. I, dude, regardless, Iran-US so, yeah. is going to be spicy. It was That's very spicy. That's always going to yeah. be spicy. Indeed. <laughs> and then we have the Commonwealth Derby as well. Uh, England versus Wales. I know Wales is not uh, have dude, to England's gonna just England and I don't see that okay. Happening. Let's be honest. It's only Ecuador, still... Senegal. It's Ecuador, Senegal, Iran, USA. Wales, England is nothing. England's putting six on Wales. It, it's it's putting six. Yeah. They're gonna go back Southgate in. I'm saying they. I... <laughs> they go back Southgate in. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? You're saying it's gonna be that bad? Don't save the game. Wow, this man. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. No, because no. Th- let's think about this. Wales mm-hmm. are mm-hmm. are completely like weak. This is a very poor version of Wales. Um, mm-hmm. th- because think about it. The reason why they got to even qualify was because of the powers of Bale, who's now older. Mm-hmm. The powers of Aaron Ramsey, who's now significantly older. Tyler mm-hmm. Adams is okay. Right, he's an okay striker. But I legitimately don't think Tyler Adams starts for Cameroon. I don't think he starts for you just said Morocco. Tyler Adams is a striker. Tyler he Adams doesn't start for. TDM. Okay, I'm I'm literally going to go through every team here. Okay, Tyler Adams does not start for the Netherlands. He doesn't start for Ecuador. He doesn't start for Senegal. He starts for Qatar. He doesn't start for England. He doesn't start for Iran. He doesn't. He starts for the U.S. He starts for Wales. <laughs> then he starts for... He doesn't start for Poland, Argentina. He starts for Saudi Arabia. Doesn't start for Mexico. Doesn't start for France. Starts for Australia. Doesn't start for Denmark, Tunisia. Doesn't start for Spain, Japan, Costa Rica, Germany. Doesn't start for Croatia, Morocco, Belgium, just... <laughs> Canada. Oh, he starts for Canada. No, no, he doesn't. Ta- no, he doesn't. David is better, right? David you, is better than... You... Okay. okay, and then he doesn't start for Portugal, doesn't start for Ghana, doesn't start for South Korea, doesn't start for... Okay, he starts for South Korea, doesn't start for Uruguay. He only starts for four countries in which he's, he, he starts for the country that they just spoke about. <laughs> I, why are you doing this to me? No, why? no, I'm, I'm being honest. Which... Be honest. Which teams does he start for? In well, the World Cup? All, huh? Who does this? He starts with Portugal? I didn't say that. No, no, no. What'd you say? I said, first of all, not Portugal. Yeah. Um, uh, let's look at this. Um, no, 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 yes. No, no. Yes, yes. No, no, yes. No, no, yes. No, yes. No, no, yes. No, 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 yes, yes, no, 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 yes, no. So how many? I wasn't counting, but it's probably a third. It's like a, a third. A third is high. He starts for or less. He it's... starts for five teams max. And that's including injuries. Like, he starts with... <laughs> I, I, you know what? I'm My boy isn't myself. even in the... He's not even on I'm the, preparing I myself mean, for... I'm sorry, preparing myself let me, for the cla- comments, let me so change my argument. He doesn't even play in... He doesn't even get picked for their first 25. That's an extended team he doesn't get picked for. Tyler Adams, you suck, buddy. Okay? Yeah. Okay, buddy? <laughs> All right, you suck, pal. 
why why would you do this to me? I'm all I'm, I'm, I'm Iran all in boys boys and girls. I'm Iran. I want England Iran in the finals. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies Iran. and gentlemen, this is the clickbait portion of our program here. Um, <laughs> Because this man just wants me to have to deal with comments. No, every like, day. okay, okay, okay. No, let's be honest. All right. So, are we going to do? I think it's fair to assess now. Do, I think Netherlands and Ecuador go through. Is that you fair? You think Ecuador goes through? I, I, I think, think Ecuador goes through. Uh, no chance. Senegal okay. have showed me Mane. You know why? I don't want Senegal to go through because yeah. I fear. Senegal just getting pumped by a better team. But I don't want to be see playing, a five nil because they be without Mane England. they're so weak. They'd be playing the winner of yeah. They'd be playing the winner of Group B. No, I don't care. So, even if they get past the playoffs or the knockout stages, as I call it, you still want to get them pumped. We don't. Team. We let's not. Let's not. It's one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best African teams we've seen in a really long time. So I don't want to see them getting pumped hard, okay? Okay. Um, what do you think about Group B? You think it still stays England Iran? I do. Okay. And then Group C, to me, those are the two teams that were going to go through. I didn't think in that order, but it could genuinely be in that order. It, it could be it, Poland Argentina. I do, unless. Okay, because when you're looking at the math here, right? Mm. If if Poland Argentina ends in a draw, that's five four. That's five four. Right? And if Saudi Arabia beats Mexico, <laughs> Saudi Arabia beats Mexico. They're through. Which they're through. Means... They're through as the top team in Group C, if which would anything, be the yeah. craziest thing ever. Hey, a defender's gonna go missing. They all okay, get but okay. Let's let's, the... let's let's put let's put some respect on Mexico's name because Canelo mm-hmm. Alvarez is out here trying to punch everybody. Apparently. Canelo Alvarez said, yes. Messi, if I see you. Yes. Yes. Messi, I if that. I see you. Uh, dude, I, mm. I told I, I told if if you're an Argentinian boxer in Canelo's weight class, bruv, do not show up. Change. Mm. Go to the MMA. Alright, so I don't think Saudi Arabia beats Mexico. I've called it. I know this is a really poor Mexican side, like honestly, but mm. I don't, I can't see it, man. Can you? Can you see Saudi Arabia beat Mexico? Yes. You think so? You think this Mexican team is that bad? Yeah, man. That white shirt brought me tears, man. That white shirt brought me tears. What do you mean it's brought you tears? What does that mean? Henri Reynaud, man, their coach, gets results in tournaments, man. Who's they coach? Him- Saudi Arabia's coach or Mexico? Yeah, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia's coach. No, I'm saying, but I think Mexico's overall talent per player beats it Saudi should. Arabia's. It should, but because we're also negating the fact that when Saudi Arabia beat Argentina, they, they just, did it with like a 15 minute stretch. Yes, and they did well. Guess what? They did what they should do, and yeah. which is win the game and play to their strengths, mm-hmm. but. I don't think Saudi Arabia has it in them to be Mexico. I think they have it in them to draw against Mexico. I don't think they have it in them to be Mexico. I think the Argentina thing was two things happened. Argentina clearly underplayed how good Saudi Arabia is. And oh. and that's why you see Argentina didn't joke around with Mexico. They oh. absolutely just went, we're going to... Messi finally showed up. Messi was like, oh. all right, I guess I'll have to carry your asses again as I've done in every other tournament. So mm. he showed up. And I don't think Mexico's... Dude, Mexico can't leave with one point. I think it's possible. One point? I think it's possible. All right. Okay. Group D. Are we seeing the kangaroos? The soccer roos. But <laughs> I put respect, man. That's, no, I got family. Kangaroos. The, the kangaroos, bro. Yeah, the kangaroos, but their name is the Socceroos. Man. I, got I, I, know, I know what the yeah, name is. I'm calling them kangaroos. Hey, kangaroos, all right? Listen, I got listen, family. Aussies, listen, I got I'm going to have, I'm gonna have brother who's Australian, all right? And I'll <laughs> yeah. tell you this. You guys suck, buddy. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? You guys suck. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? And by the way, your kit sucks, all right? 
Your your <laughs> your rugby team your rugby team's kit is fire. Why could and you do this? To your me? your your rugby team is one of my favorite teams outside of uh, SA. But guess what? You suck, buddy. You guys would get beat by Kenya. You're not getting out of this group. It's France Denmark. <laughs> so you're going France Denmark, eh? Oh, 100 percent. Well, France then, is definitely going through. So, or do yeah. we go nuts and we say France Tunisia? To, to <laughs> Tunisia beats Tunisia. Tunisia beats has France. to beat France. That's Come what I'm saying, on. dude. Tunisia looks at France and goes, "I'm tired of these colonizers coming to my countries and playing around." <laughs> Tunisia shows up, one nil. I had faith in them. Until they lost Please, Australia. Listen, I have Tunisia nothing tells left. Qatar, yo, we need to play with 12 players. Oh <laughs> Bring that 12th guy. <laughs> Who shuts down Mbappe. Dude, you just take out Mbappe, man. Early. I can't break a leg, bro. Yellow, yellow card, <laughs> break a leg, move on. I can't with you All right, right so now. France, Tunisia. Uh, then okay. Group E. <sighs> group E, this... Mm. That's the hardest group. Germany should beat Costa Rica. They no, Germany should. doesn't beat Costa Rica, in my opinion. I think it's a draw. Spain, is, you know, people have seen Spain and Germany and gone, oh my God, Spain is good. Oh, sorry, Germany is good. I think Spain beating Costa Rica 7-0 was par for the course. But I don't think Spain's team is that good. I've said it. I don't think they are. They still play tiki-taka. They don't have a legit striker. They have... No, like, let's be honest here, bro. They don't have goal scorers. They scored seven goals. They finished all the goals they had. Why couldn't they beat Germany? This German team is trash. Are we trying to pretend like it's a good German team? It's it's not the Germany of the standard that we That's have. That's not so. the same Germany team, bro. Okay, look at Spain's... Um, legitimately, these are Spain's players. You tell me who the good players are. Gavi. Pedri. Okay. Yeah. Busquets. Torres, Fati, yeah. Alvaro Morata, Nico Williams, Asensio, Rodri, Alaba. Who are the good players there? And Balde, Alejandro Balde. Tell me. I don't, who, who I don't the think the Spain team. I don't think the Spain team is as good as the result shows here. No. The, the, the Costa Rica matchup was just you hit. No, you Costa just... Rica did. Costa Rica didn't give them the respect that they should have. Fully attacked them, and they just got punished yeah. every single time. Now, are there goals on Pedri? Yes. Are there goals in uh, Morata somewhere? Are there goals in um, Gavi? I guess. But are those guys who strike fear to me? No, because they're midfield heavy. That's what Spain has always been. But if you have a team that can bypass that midfield, I'm not joking. I'm looking at Japan right now and going, I shouldn't fear Spain. Why should I fear them? I think Japan right now should make a statement. Either a draw, I think a draw would be good for them, right? Because I think that solidifies them to go through. Yeah, it should. It, it should, gives them because the goal yeah. difference. It doesn't matter if Costa Rica draws against Germany. It doesn't matter if Germany beats Costa Rica. Well, the problem would be if Germany scores like five on. Costa I can see Rica. Germany putting four on Costa Rica. I can see that's that just, too. Yeah, I can see that too. But I, I don't think, I think Costa Rica should look at this game and say, "Dude, we were able to somehow beat Japan, somehow." Why don't we just go the whole way? In my opinion, Japan, I think you should beat Spain. I think you have the team. The way you guys played against Costa Rica, that was a fluke that they won. You were the better team. You've showcased you're the best team in that group by beating G Germany, coming from behind, beating their asses. Do the same thing with Spain. Don't go down 1-0 because Spain will not let you come back. <laughs> That they won't. That they will they definitely. Won't. If they score one goal, it's game over. Mm -hmm. Then Group F. That's the. It's I think that's the, solid. I think that's that's what it's going to go. You think with. that's how it ends? So that's you think how it ends. That, so you think Croatia and Morocco get results against Belgium? And Canada because this is the thing: Belgium against Croatia. Mm. No chance. Belgium beats Croatia. No chance. Okay, you think so? I don't. 
dude, it's aging midfield versus aging midfield. I'll and them all. it's who's que- the question is, is De Bruyne better than Modric? Fuck no. Right now, no. No. I'm giving it to Modric right now. Yeah. Modric, bro. Is who's better, Perisic or um, or Eden Hazard? Sir, Perisic. you have to. You didn't have to keep going after that. Like, point, I was like, like yeah, I, that's the I only think, debate. We I move think, on. I think Belgium beats Croatia. I think Morocco. You think Belgium beats Croatia? You I think. think oh, sorry, sorry. Croatia I think. I think beats... Croatia. Actually, I think both of them draw. Okay. And then my boys, Morocco. Listen, listen here, boys. Okay. I don't like you, North Africans, but. I will give you a pass this time, all right? All right, you, you, you Spanish enclave. I need you guys to. Let's be honest, Morocco is just the, the, it's just the country you use to go to Spain. So, I, I need Morocco, to, finally show, that an African team can top a group, properly, yeah. and by the way, a group that they were not even expected to get out of. What would that be? Yeah. Them with seven points? But oh, then yeah. my problem is Alfonso Davis. <laughs> he might be looking at them going, you guys are going to find I'm a, I'm a beast. Okay. It'll Jonathan, be a fun, yeah. I, tell me, I think that's a more, that's a really good game. Morocco, Canada, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Um, But I think Morocco goes through and I think Croatia goes through. I don't think they go... I think they go to actually in that order. Um, but I wouldn't be shocked if Belgium beat Croatia. If Canada beats Morocco, I'd be dead. Uh, group G. Cameroon. It's been nice seeing you. Um, yeah, I don't... Yeah. And, then, <laughs> yeah. and then Serbia, Switzerland. I think... That's tough. I, but you know what? I, Switzerland's idea would be can Switzerland defend against Serbia? And I think they can. They, I yeah. think they've got the pieces there to actually defend against them. So I'll, I'll say, I'll say Switzerland, Brazil, for sure. Oh. Brazil nine points, clean. Yeah. Only team, clean. and I'm calling it only team to have nine points. Uh, oh well, I think England gets might. Nine. You think France, France gets, gets nine? nine? Oh yeah, Tunisia. Enough. Yeah, I think. So. Oh no, I'm telling you that. <laughs> My people in Tunis, all right? I need you guys to pull up. Mm. You go to, you go to, um, what's his name's house? Careful, careful now. Careful now. Oh, sorry. Okay. Portugal, Ghana, uh, South Korea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so for group H, mm. look, there's Portugal's one, already there's, through. So this is my thing. Portugal's through. Um, it, there's, there's my heart, and then there's the truth. Mm-hmm. I would love for it to be Portugal, Ghana. And I do think Ghana has a potential of drawing against Uruguay. Yes. And that's a f- and they go through. Yeah. I think my biggest issue with Ghana is Ghana mm-hmm. has shown that mm-hmm. it can score goals, but, but it's also... also shown that they allow a lot of goals. Yes. And I think the thing about Uruguay is that Uruguay has shown that they're a really hard team to score against. Mm-hmm. If you look at the first half with Portugal, they negated them completely. And that's a that really, game. really good team. Mm-hmm. That's a really solid team. Yeah. De Bruyne, uh, sorry, not De Bruyne. Uh, De Bruyne's uh, better of half. Um, Bruno Fernandes yeah. and um, uh, oh. what's his name? Uh, <laughs> And <laughs> and Silva up bias, ahead. Right. Yes. Him him and Silva are so dynamic. It's I don't I don't understand how they play with two attacking midfielders that way, but, but it's do. crazy. So I'm just hoping Ghana shows up and they beat Uruguay. But for me, Uruguay looks like that team that just has that extra, you know, oh. sauce to go through. Yeah. And then let's be honest, South Korea. Bro, South Korea would have to get a result against Portugal, which is with, the task. Well, yeah. You know what? I think South Korea could beat Portugal. But I can honestly them by... see them do that, though. But could they beat them enough to make up the goal difference? All they do, all they need to do is just, so 
let's think about it this way. Ghana needs to score two goals. Yes. Or two goals, like two clear goals. So be it mm-hmm. three, one or two, nil, whatever. Yeah. And South Korea needs to score two goals against Portugal. Yeah. And I think that's definitely like, dude, it's all like Portugal has a good defense. I saw Pepe. I'm like, what the heck are you doing here? Mm. What are you doing here? They're playing William Cavalio. Mm. What are these 1995 FIFA 13 players doing here, man? Like, what are we doing? Mm. Still getting the job done. But no, you do bring the point where I think South Korea could do something here. In the Republic, they could. I dev- like, will dude, be what they did against... Catch. Have you? Did you see how mad they were? That the game mm. stopped? Okay, can we talk about how the know. game stopped? That Yo, was kind of sketchy. I'm telling if you. If you know they, that they, ref, that ref's done that. That, that, ref PayPal, that PayPal came in at the last second. <laughs> yeah. He just but got this a ref has done that. Elon Musk helped that. Dude, Elon Musk is helping African teams just go through, bro. So. Yo, that ref, that ref, but that ref is known to do that. So the fact that it was like happening, it was like, he did, it was like, why would you? Oh, it's you. It's like the, it's like the, um, it's a Malina ref who called it at 85 minutes. Like, oh, <laughs> like, I'm not surprised. That guy like, made African Cup of Nations look so bad, man. How do, you, <laughs> how do you stop the game at the 85th minute? Oh, man. Thinking, and people are just like... My guy's like, like dude, do you don't know how to look at a clock? You, know, you can't look at a watch? 90. Like, that's all you had to do. Man. Man, that's true. It's true. But no, on that note, guys, we've been here for an hour. Uh on the rewatch i look forward to all the comments i apologize in advance because nelson ran his mouth but no bro guys, like, like, hey hey hey, yeah. hey listen 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 hey. if you if you are looking at us and you listen to what i'm saying and you think oh, nelson is being like really mean here i just want to say <laughs> i'm being honest about hey, everything listen. i'm saying Morocco, I want you guys to go through, but you guys are trash, boy. Uh, <laughs> what? I'm going to be like, thank you. I appreciate this. Now I will be answering comments for the entirety of this all. I appreciate you, Nelson. I do. But guys, in the comments below, let us know who you have going through as it goes. We'll probably have different clips going up for the rest of the week. But thank you, Nelly, for being here. Uh, Let's go. Fun. Uh, he's Kenyan, so you can talk to him about how good his team is. Listen, uh, we're Kenyans, so so we don't play for all of you who are going to attack me for the fact that we don't have a good football team. Let me explain something to you guys. We do not enter things that we're not going to win. Look at our marathon runners. Look at our, you know, our track record in, in Javelin. Look at our track record in, we only go in to win. Right, guys? Hmm. So, because we know our team sucks, we don't even try. <laughs> we don't even try. Uh, well, Victor Wanyama is sends his regards, um, bro. Wanyama, well. Mariga, or, or you know, yeah. we have we have legends, right? Legends of the. How many Ghanaians have won the Champions League? Because we've got um, one. We've got, yeah, we've got one. <laughs> well, you have Essien. Essien's won. yeah. Has but was Essien on Chelsea has, when they won it, though? Has Pele won? No, I think Essien's definitely won. I bet he, yeah, I bet he won it. Yeah, I bet he won it, yeah. Did, but was it even called Champions League? It was, let's talk about Champions League. Champions League, all right? It's only Essien, right? Is there anyone else? No, it would Which be... It would be a, well, it was that version of the Champions League. Is but, there any but other? But I bet he did. I bet he did. I bet he did. No, yeah. no, he didn't. He didn't. Dude, I bet he Pele played in... What was it? What was the version of before the Champions League called? Like, uh, um, Winners' Cup or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did Betty yeah. Pelle legit win the Champions League? Let's see. He won the UEFA Champions League in 1993. Ah, damn it! So you have two. One, two, two. Yeah, see, see, now you're making me have to give him credits. I have to, I have to eat my words. No, he's Jordan okay. Listen, I respect, I respect Betty Pelle. Betty Pelle mm-hmm. is. One of the best, um, one of the best African players of all time, right? Like, he's up there, up there. Um, you know, he's got two idiot sons playing, but like, uh, he's <laughs> wait, 
Wait, isn't are you and are you, are you brothers his his kids, right? Yes, yes. And yes. The, yeah, he's got two idiot bro- uh, sons. Why would you just, for him. just but, leave me be? But like hey, the Ghanians uh, now. Uh, no, like let's think about it. If you're under you and you you know you can't even control a ball properly, and you see your dad like killing it in the nineties, like he could kill a ball. He it must suck to be him. Um. Either way, uh, I'm I'm just rambling right now. But to be honest yes, with you, you Morocco, I'm really th- thankful that you guys finally showed up. Cameroon, I'm really thankful you guys really. I think Cameroon played well. They just had a really bad group. Uh, yeah. Senegal, it sucked that Mane didn't show up. Tunisia, thank you for taking another spot that could have been taken by Egypt and they would have just sucked just like you did. No, um, that's why and... was taken by Senegal. Dude, yeah. North African teams, Morocco has finally showed that it's part African. These other North African teams should just go into the Middle East Stop. and accept it. Stop. I am tired of them taking I mean, African positions and I mean, they never do anything. I am so done. Algeria made the round of 16 Algeria... in 2014. Yeah, were we excited? <laughs> yes, because it was all we had. It was all we had. Algeria sucks. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Why uh, are like, you doing this to me? Wait, no. did they actually get to the round of sixteen? Yes. So wait, so the the teams? No, wait. Oh, you mean you mean knockout stages? Yes. I said, ah, who gives a crap? I'm talking quarterfinals. I need quarterfinal teams. Cameroon has done it. Senegal has done it. Ghana has done it. I want Ni- Nigeria has done it as well. Nigeria has, has has yeah. Nigeria has done it. I want another. I want a North African team, dude. The reason why I hate North African teams, they have good players, all right? Like legitimately have decent players. Mm-hmm. Morocco, I'm looking at you now. You guys have decent players, bro. F- f- just do it. You guys have been looking at Spain this whole time. You've probably understood what Tiki Taka looks like already. Okay, in yeah. Kenya, we're far away. We don't know what that looks like. We just got TV. I need you guys to get to be on a different level. But Egypt, you suck. Algeria, you suck. Give me another North African team. Tunisia, you suck. Just... The Western Sahara, I don't know if you're yeah, considered yeah. a country anymore. But if I you are, you suck. suck. <laughs> I can't with you. I can't with you. I cannot with you. And I'm going to post right. this, and I'm going to have to... My face is now with this. I, I don't... <laughs> why? Why would you so, do this to me? Hey, 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 to my Iranians out there, to my Persians, all right? You know, the... Uh, what was your Iran. empire called? Iran. Persian Empire. Okay. If, don't, be, don't be Iranian. No, I'm, I'm Iran. calling it Iran. I, I, well, I, don't, I don't call it Iran. I, it's Iran. Hey, to my Persians out there, you know, uh, I don't know any Persian. <laughs> I don't. Pe- I don't speak Pharisee. So, <laughs> so but we're no, this but, well, we're well, this uh, but I, I'll you know, inshallah, you guys win against the U.S. You know, these Thanksgiving turkey eating freaks, right? I want you guys to beat them, show them, and then later. On,